All right, here we go. We're going to make a quick video AI here for lesson 29. Um, and I'm going to show you example problem 3.4.4 and 3.4.5 where we're finding these living vectors. And so here's this uh, system of equations where we're asked to find the equilibrium vector for it. And um, if you wanted to go ahead and follow along Mathematica, here's what we would do, right? We don't have an initial condition, but we have, um, we have this A matrix, right? We know that A is this 3x3 three three matrix, so we've got 0 0.6, um, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0.4, right? Um, and then we've, we've got this D vector, but um, it's actually just a zero vector, right? So we'd write that in as well. Um, and with these two things, now we can go ahead and solve for uh, our equilibrium vector, which we know that to find this equilibrium vector P star, we can just do um, I minus A inverse times D, where um, this I is just the identity matrix. All right, so that's on the formula reference card. So if... Um, if I'm doing this in Mathematica, the technique that I like to use, I like to create this variable IA, which is just going to be the command um, identity matrix. And in this case, we're going to use this bracket 3 minus A. Right? So that gives me this variable IA. Um, and if I try to do this um, in Mathematica using this inverse command, and I type in um, inverse of IA times D. Um, it's going to give me an answer, but the answer is going to come with some caveat, right? I think, uh, I think the error message here says something in red, the like poorly conditioned matrix. And um, you get an error like this. What it's really trying to tell you is that it tried to find the inverse of IA, but, but there wasn't one, so it was estimating, and so it still gives you a value, but it's wrong. So if you see um, if you see some output poorly conditioned matrix, what it's really trying to tell you is that the matrix is singular, and you're going to have to use row reduction to solve the problem. So when we're trying to, um, to derive this equilibrium vector, we came up with this thing that looks like I minus A times P star equals this d vector, right? And so if you think about this um, in terms of a x equals y, it's just a system of equations where we're, you know, how we try to find this, um, our vector of unknowns, this guy, we were able to set up an augmented matrix and row reduce to find these values for our vector of unknowns. And so we're going to do the exact same thing here, where we create this um, augmented matrix of i minus a and then d. There's a quick way to do this in Mathematica because we already have our variable IA, right? We know what IA is because we defined it um, in this on a previous try where we got this badly conditioned matrix. So what I'm going to use is this join command. Um, so I'm going to erase this. And, and the join command in Mathematica um, looks like this. We're going to join uh, this matrix IA and D. And then I've got to specify this letter, or the number 2. And what 2 does is it adds D as a column vector um, to the right of your matrix IA. So if you try typing in join bracket IA comma D comma 2, now you'll have an augmented matrix um, that satisfies this guy right here. And so next thing we have to do is we just have to row reduce this. So you might want to, um, I should have named this matrix here, maybe we call it aug for augmented matrix. Um, and so solving in Mathematica, we're just going to type row reduce and then bracket AUG, right? So when we do this, it's going to spit out an output that looks something like this. Um, and so we know from this output, this row right here tells us there are infinitely many solutions for the equilibrium vector. Um, and if I want to write this as a system of equations, I can do that. And so with this system of equations, now I can pick a value for C star and then solve for B star and A star. Right? Uh, so I could let C star equal 1, 
Um, that'd be a pretty easy one, and then I can solve for B star and A star from there. Um, but this takes us to the next problem, which is um, the example problem 3.4.5. All right, so, so now we're going to look at example 3.4.5, where it asks us to compute the equilibrium vector um, given this initial condition. All right, and so we've got A naught is 10, B naught is 70, and C naught is 20. Um, so if I was to write that uh, in mathematica or something, I'd write something along the lines of P bracket 0 equals, and uh, it was 10, 70, and 20, right? So 10, 70, and 20. And so there's my initial condition added in here. And uh, so what I want to point out is that this, this uh, we've already solved for the equilibrium vector, and we found that there were infinitely many. And so here's what we have going on is that if you look at each one of these columns, each column sums to 1, and then we have nothing being added to the system, right, because this d vector is 0. And so what this means is there's never going to be any gain or loss to the system. What, it, what starts in the system will remain in the system forever um, because none of it's leaving. There's no more coming in from an outside source, okay? And so um, we started with... 70 people in the system, and there, or I'm sorry, 100 people in the system, there will always be 100 people in the system, is what this tells us since all these columns um, sum to 1 and D is, is 0. So when we did this row reduction um, in a previous problem, we found out that um, we got that, that augmented matrix um, that looked like this. And uh, what this augmented matrix tells us is that this row of all zeros, yeah, it tells us that there's infinitely many solutions, but it also tells us there's this redundant equation that gives that adds nothing of value uh, when we're trying to solve this problem, right? Um, and so, since we know nothing's ever leaving the system, there's always going to be 100 people in there. We can replace this with information that um, A star plus B star plus C star is going to equal 100. Right, um, because there's always going to be 100 people in this system, and so if I take the coefficients of this um, and rewrite it in here, and I put a one, 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 uh, and 100 in, now I've got an equation that's no longer redundant. It's going to add some value to this this system, and I can row reduce this augmented matrix here. Um, and when I do, it's going to give me a unique solution now um, for this system. It's going to be one of the infinitely many equilibrium vectors for the initial problem, but it's going to be unique to our initial conditions um, that started with 10, 70, and 20. So if I'm in Mathematica, maybe I want to um, label this uh, as my equilibrium vector. And I'm just going to say that it equals this augmented matrix. Right, and so now I'm going to type in, uh, we'll just do some row reduction here. So we'll say row reduce um, this, vec this matrix EV and when I do that the output I get should look something like this All right, so there's my new augmented matrix uh, or my row reduce matrix and since I see this identity matrix here on the left hand side of the augmented matrix I know that I've got a unique solution and this says that A star uh, is equal to 31.5068 B star is equal to 28.7671, and C star is equal to 39.726. So this right here is my equilibrium vector for the initial conditions that were given in, in problem 3.4.5.